Uh, not long ago, a new DLC called Viva France uh, was released for Euro Truck Simulator 2. Um, I've bought that DLC. I've got all three of them. And uh, obviously because of the, they've brought out Viva France, it means they've now had to update Pro Mods. So I'm going to show you how to install the newest version of Pro Mods, which is this one at the top here. And it ba it's basically is the same as everything else, apart from this one. Has a uh, that a new Polish city? I don't know how to say. It. I'm not even going to try. Uh, and it has a motorway rebuilt. Uh, it's got new motorways in Italy. It's got Prague. I don't know if that means that's the rebuilt Prague rebuilt. I don't know. Uh, optimization in Barcelona and Manresa and return of Cherbourg and Metz rebuild. And also the main highway rebuild in Luxembourg. Uh, police cars have been added. And yeah, it says this version requires all current map DLCs to be installed. So. If you've not got, obviously, in fact, yeah, I'll start off here. It says, because in the top here, it says requires DLC, uh, Pro Mods version and ETS version. So, the ETS version, if you've updated it to the newest, newest version, it's 1.27, which is this is the only one you can have for that. So, to play this Pro Mods, you need all three of these DLCs. So, Going East, uh, Scandinavia, which is North, and then Viva France. Um, I believe they are an offer on Steam. Uh, I'll have to. I'll probably put screenshots on screen, but uh, I, mean, I do believe they are on offer, as well as the actual ETS2 game. I believe that's about three pound, three four pound or something, which is really really good. Um, I'd get that now be before it sort of goes off offer because it's about fifteen pound if not. So, if you don't have Viva France, the highest update pro mod you can have is this one, which is one point two six Euro Truck. So if you can, you need to somehow. Get your your truck back to 1.26, but before that you go in way 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 far down with to 1.18 your truck, which is basically there's not a lot there. So for for purposes, I just get all three DLCs when they're cheap and use this one. So I have, but yeah, I'm just basically going to show you how to do it. So let's go back actually. When you're on the, when you go into promods.net you have to sign in or sign up for an account to be able to work you can link it with steam as well so obviously i've linked mine with my well sort of linked it with my steam and then when you've done that you need to go on to compatibility and then it'll bring you to this page which will have all of your pro mods and stuff on it so when you get if you are installing this version which is what i'm going to show you now you just click can melt back well, back bloody past my window making a noise right anyway I'll get back to it uh, you just need to click on the install button here and it will bring you to this page and you just need to choose your language or some English so uh, just click OK and this is your death file this is the you need that you this is like what am I going to say? It, you know, it says here look it just says it's the importance of this file is critical the mod won't, won't work so you just download this uh, Death file, and then when you've downloaded that, it'll take you to an ad fly site and stuff for download. Uh, oh, yeah, in fact, yeah, I'll click, I forgot about this bit. This bit's just sort of you download the uh, definitions, so all your computer settings. So you know how, if you know how good your computer is, obviously you can change it. So if you've got an extreme high computer, you use it all to draw in distance and stuff. But I just leave them default because it usually fits it to your uh, computer usually. So. And then also, if you have Rust Map, which is like your Russia and Ukraine expansion, then just check that box. And then just if you don't have Rust Map, don't don't make sure it's not ticked, otherwise it won't work. And then just click on Generate. So if I do that, it will take you. It'll just download it at the bottom of your screen. And then and then what you what you do with that then is when you do just save as, and you want to save it in your ETS2. Well, in fact, just make any documents. Just make a new folder uh, called Pro Mods for now. We'll just call it Pro Mods, and then this is where your, all your files are going to be. So I've done all my files, uh, one to six. Well, there's a seventh one, but I'll just, I need to show you to install them. Uh, your dev file will be here. So this is your dev file, and then after that, when you after you've done generate, you need to go back. Uh, and then when you go back onto this page, which is just click, it'll open a new tab when you click on this death file anyway. 
So just close this dev file one off. Once it's installed and it's saved, you just go back to here and click go to step two. And then it'll bring you to this page, which is your installation. I mean, it also it gives you an option here, which is a fast option, which is just like one archive. Uh, one archive. So you just install the one, the whole file at once. But it, uh, for 80p, so if you fancy spending 80p, you can do obviously, and you get the trailer pack extra as well. Um, yeah. Uh, but if you don't want to, if you don't have a lot of money, then you can just download all these files separate, se uh, separate. Obviously, I've done these first six. Um, the, the first one here will be a WinRAR file. So if you don't know how to install WinRAR, then look it up somewhere. Or go or go to the WinRAR website. Um, and then this is your test one. I don't think you need this, but if you do, I probably will add it in. But uh, I'm just basically I'm just going to show you how to quickly do it. So you just click on your your first download. And it brings you to this add fly, add, uh, add fly page and just leave or don't do any just don't touch any of the adverts and stuff wait for this in the corner here to skip add and you just click on that and it should bring you to just close off the ad that ad fly opens and then it'll probably just bring you to a white screen if it does just go to this button here and then go to downloads which is I've done the wrong one Anna there we go, downloads, and then it'll just say here, uh, Pro Mods, it'll just come up with this download, it'll say waiting to download because it won't actually download. So you just click save as, and then save it in your Pro Mods folder. It'll come up as a 007 file, which is right because it's number 7 of the file. So you just click save as in your Pro Mods file, and it'll install. It just depends on how good your internet is, depending on how long your uh, install will take. So I'll be back when it's finished. So when you, when your Promods file is installed. You just uh, when you or see most of the time you would have saved it straight into the Promods folder, so you can close it off. And then go to your Promods folder like this. So it should look like this. So it doesn't matter which order these are, as long as this is here and then the dev file is above it. And then you just need to get this file and then just click on Extract here. And what will happen is then is if you have WinRAR. You just need to extract all the files, and every all the files will extract above uh, that WinRAR archive. So, once it's done that, I'll be back. So, when your ProMods uh, files have finished extracting, you should have six of these files here, all .scs files, uh, or pip, or if you've done it right, they all should be above uh, this ProMods file. Uh, the, pro the files you should have are model what model two, model one, media, map, def uh, the def file, and the assets file. Uh, the two big files are your model one and model two, and then your assets. These are really really big files, so if the these might take a little bit longer than usual to extract because some of them are nearly two gigabytes. Um, but the readme folder is just all about licensing and stuff like. That. So unless you want unless you want all those people that want to sit through and go through every single bit of it then you do that but other than that it is entirely up to you so all these files here these six need to go to your uh, ETS2 mods folder so in your your truck similar to folder in your documents you'll come up with something like this so I'll see all your profiles here I don't know why I've got so many uh, your mod folder will tend to be at the top so you click on that and these are all my mods so all you just need to do is just paste the pro mods folders in so when you are in your euro truck home menu like you are now yeah when you've installed pro mods if it's done correctly it should say uh, no uh, new mods added or new mods found uh, obviously I've already been on and checked it so it won't come up on that but when obviously if you when you click on that it will come up with this menu on the left hand side so you need to find all your six of your ProMod files unless you bought it then it will just have one and then you just need to transfer them all to the right hand side by using either this arrow which does every single one um, but obviously that's only if you just have ProMods or you want them all installed and then or if you just want to do it one by one it's just this one and then if you go back and then obviously come for, click confirm changes but if you are making a new profile and you want to use pro mods click on new profile and then click on this mod manager here and then do it so yeah
that's just how that works so if we back out of that and then when you go when you're in the game it should uh, you, you'll know it works is when you load it up it will come up with something like this like it'll have one of the pro mod cities and maybe just any city but most of the most of the time it's a pro mod one and it will say pro mod 2.16 or whatever version you've got I've got 2.16 so it comes up with 2.16 on the screen so it, it'll take, it might take a while to load so I'm going to come back when it's finished so when you're in the game um, it will probably come up with some message saying game change detected and stuff um, they just click OK. It should work fine, and you will notice that it is all all of it's there. You've got Iceland all the way here. You've got uh, oh bloody hell, a Faroe Island, I believe that is. Oh, I might be being stupid. I believe it is. Um, you've got all the way up here in Kirkenes, and then you've got all the way up in Yongbyon, uh, along Yongbyon. Hard to say. Unless that's the fair, no, that's not the fair island. No, but that's just a really, really small place. Um, and then all the way at the bottom, let's zoom out. Zoom, there we go. Happy days. And then all the way down here, Barcelona, San Sebastian, Firenze, no, that's not in there. And all the way in like Pierce and Rus, or P, I don't even know how to bloody say that. But Bucharest, in there, that's Romania. So you do get like all the main cities here and but yeah, I've lost pretty much. So yeah. This is basically pro mods. A couple of a couple of uh, places here. So yeah, I'll probably will be doing a uh, let's play series on pro mods. So if you wanna watch that then subscribe. See you later.